A picture has the power to freeze time and keep beautiful memories alive. A picture video is definitely going to take you on an emotional roller coaster ride for sure. Regardless of the purpose, if you are planning to create a picture video, just make sure you have these following important elements. Starting from a good video maker, a great music track, nice looking animation and transition effects, and definitely options to add text to your videos. When you are creating something that's so special as that, you would never want to spoil it, right? That's why from Animaker, we've decided to help you with a great tool and a good tutorial to help you make an awesome photo video. Come on, let's get started. You are looking at the homepage of Animaker website. To start with, click on this create your first video icon over here. You will be redirected to the sign up page. If you already have an account, log in using your credentials using this link over here. Or if you are new to Animaker, fill in the details over here and sign up. You can also sign up using your Google account over here. Once you are done signing up, you will be redirected to the Animaker's dashboard page. There are two different ways to create a photo video in Animaker. Number one, you can make use of an existing template present within Animaker. Or the second option is to start a new project just from scratch. First, let's see how to make use of an existing template to create your videos. I'm going to the search bar over here and typing photo video in it. Once you type the text and enter it, you'll be redirected to the template section of Animaker. Here you have a lot of different photo video templates that you can make use of. Search for the particular template that is relevant to your use. There are templates for a lot of different scenarios. Let's say I want to create a photo video wedding invite. So I'll click on this preview icon over here to see how actually this template looks like. If you are fine with the template, click the use icon over here. You will be redirected to a new project file with this particular template loaded into it. As you can see here, the template you selected is loaded into this file. Now you are looking at the interface of Animaker application. Center you have the workspace. Workspace is like a canvas or a whiteboard where you will bring in your pictures and text to create your videos. On the right hand side you have the scene section comprising of several scenes which together forms the video. On the bottom you have the timeline section. Within timeline section, we have three different timelines. The timeline which will be opened by default is animation timeline. The second timeline is the video timeline, which will open the music track. And the third and the final timeline is the camera timeline, which you can make use of to introduce camera effects in your videos. And in the left, you have the library section consisting of a lot of different assets that you can make use of in creating your videos. To start creating your photo video, the first step is upload the pictures that you want to use in your videos. To upload your pictures, I am going to the upload section present in the left side bottom over here. Again I am selecting the upload icon over here. Once you select it, and you will be directly able to upload the files into the application. You should have to upload one file at a time or you can also drag and drop each of the file to upload it. I am going to drag and drop each of these images into the upload section now. The next step is we are going to replace the pictures that are already within the template with the ones that we uploaded now. You just click on the existing picture that is already in the template. Once you click on it, you can see there are a few options popping up called the item menu and within the item menu, you have an option called swap. If you click on it, you will be able to replace this particular picture with the one you uploaded now. So I click on it, it will automatically swap the existing picture with the new one. Once you are done, click apply and it will load into the scene. The next step is I want to edit the existing text that is present in the scene. To replace the existing text, you click on it and type in the text that you want to replace. I am changing the name of this person from Ron to Alex. Not only that, on the right hand side, you can see there are a lot of different options to edit this text. You can change the type of font that is used or you can increase or decrease the size of this text you can change the color of this text like this we are going to the next scene I'm gonna do the same I'm going to swap this picture using the swap option over here with this picture that we uploaded and I'm going to change the text according to my need 
Like this, I move on to each of these scenes and replace the text and the image. Let's say I want to create a duplicate of this scene. To create a duplicate, you go to the scene section over here and within this particular scene, you can see an option called duplicate scene. If you click on it, it will duplicate the scene again. And if I want to delete a scene, I can do that by clicking on this trash icon over here. The next step is we are going to add or edit a music track. To add or edit a music track, we go to the video timeline. While you are creating a video using the photo video template, there will be already a music track that is present by default. Once you click on it, you would have access to few different options. You can have a preview, you can increase or decrease the volume, you can trim it, you can duplicate it or delete the audio track. I want a different music track. So I'll delete this current track using the delete icon over here and I want to add a new music track. You can do that by two different ways. You can make use of your own track by uploading it into the upload section as we did earlier with the images or you can make use of the music tracks that are present within the application. If you want to make use of the music track present within the application, you go to the music track section over here which consists of a lot of royalty free music tracks. All you have to do is you just hover the pointer over the music tracks and you would be able to hear the actual music track. Let's say I want this particular music track. So all I have to do is just click on this plus icon over here and it will automatically apply the music track into your videos. After editing each of these scenes, you can have a preview of the scene using the icon over here. If you click on it, it will show a preview of this currently selected scene. If you want to have a preview of the whole video, you can have a preview by clicking on this icon over here. Once you are done creating your video, go to the publish icon over here and once you click on it, you would have a lot of different options to publish this video across different social media platforms. Let's say you want to download this video into your system. To do that, click on this download video option over here and again click on this download icon. Once you click on it, it will start rendering the video and after a few minutes, you will be redirected towards a new download page. Here you can have a preview of the download. And if you click here, you can directly download it into your system. If you want to edit it again, you can do that using the option over here. And you can share this using your mail ID over here. And that is how, by making use of the existing templates, you can create your photo video in Animaker. Now let's see how to create a photo video from scratch using Animaker. I'm going to the create icon over here and selecting create a video option and then blank page. Once you click on it, it will open a new blank project. Again, the first step here is to upload the images that you want to make use of in creating this video. So I'm going to the upload section in the bottom over here and selecting upload to upload the images that I'm going to use in this video. Now I want to add a background to the scene. To add a background, you have two different options. First one is you can add colors or gradient. The second option is you can have a picture background, animation background or a video background. First we'll see how to add colors to your background in the scene. To add color, just click anywhere over the workspace. Once you click on it, you will be able to see a color palette opened in the bottom. Click on the plus icon over there, you will be able to add colors to your scenes. If you want to create a gradient background, click on this plus icon over here. Like this, you can add multiple colors into your scene. And you can also adjust the pattern of the gradient using the option over here. To add a picture, 2D or a video background, go to the background section over here. Once you open it, there you have a lot of different categories of backgrounds. Let's say I want to add a photo background as we are creating a photo video. I'm selecting this background. By default, in Animaker, the duration of each scene is 10 seconds, but you can increase it or decrease it using the icons over here. I want to reduce the scene duration to around 5 seconds, so I'm using this minus icon over here and reducing it to 5 seconds. So the next step would be to add the uploaded pictures into the scene. So I'm going to the upload section over here. I'm selecting this picture, scaling its size, rotating it and placing it within the scene. Now I am going to teach you a small trick. This picture looks fine, but it will look better if we add a frame to it, right? So I am going to the properties section over here. 
within the shape section selecting this shape you can increase or decrease the width using this drag icon over here you can scale its size by dragging it over its edges I want to change the color of this frame so I'm going to the option over here here you can change the color to the one you like as the next step I want to add text to this scene to add text I'm going to the text section over here and here you have a lot of different pre-built text animations you can also create your own text animation using the text box over here I'm going to edit this text On the right side you have options to change the font style, font size and font color. I want to change the way in which this text enters the scene. I want to add animation to it. To add an entry effect, go to the enter effect option over here and there you will be having lot of different options to animate the way in which this text box enters the scene. I am going to select fade in as the entry effect animation. Once I select it, you can also see there's a pink pot appearing within this purple bar. This pink pot represents the duration for which the specific animation is going to happen. And this purple bar indicates the duration for which this text box is going to be visible. You can also add an exit effect for this text, but I don't want it, so I'm not selecting it. Let's have a preview of this scene by selecting the preview icon over here. The scene looks fine but it looks more static right? To add some movement into the scene, go to the camera timeline over here. And within camera timeline, you have two different options. One is static camera, other one is dynamic camera. In static camera, the camera's focus is fixed. The static camera allows you to change the focus of the camera within the workspace. For example, let's say I'm changing the focus of this camera to a particular part within the scene which means the camera will be only focusing on this specific part. Let's have a preview of this camera effect. As you can see here, the camera is only focusing on this specific part where we get the camera's focus. Now we are going to add a dynamic camera effect into the scene. To add dynamic camera, click on this plus icon in the pin head over here and there is a new pink part appearing within this scene. This pink part represents the duration for which this dynamic camera effect is going to happen. As I want this camera to slowly zoom in till the end of the duration, I'm dragging it till the end. And I'm going to adjust this dynamic camera effects focus within the scene. I want this camera to slowly zoom in and focus only within this part. Let's hit the preview button and see how this dynamic camera effect adds a sense of motion within our scene. As you can see, this dynamic camera effect brings in a slow and steady zoom in camera effect into the scene. Now we are going to create the scene number 2. To create a new scene, you can click on the add scene icon over here. But the smart option would be duplicate this current scene and just replace the text and the photo with a new one. To duplicate the current scene, I am going to the option over here called the duplicate scene icon and clicking on it. All I have to do is just replace this text and the image. To replace this image, click on this image. Once you click on it, the item menu will pop up. Within the item menu, you have an option called swap icon. Once you select it, you will be able to swap this picture with the one that you want. And give apply. Now I am selecting this picture along with the frame. I am going to rotate it. And moving it to the other side of the screen. And finally, I'm going to edit this text. As the final step, I'm going to the camera timeline over here and adjusting the camera's position. Let's have a preview of this scene. Once you are done creating your first scene, it is so simple to create the other scenes. Let's create the scene number 3. I am going to the duplicate scene icon over here and duplicating this scene. But I want a different background for this scene. So I am going to the background section over here. I want a background with a musical instrument in it. So I am going to type 
instrument in the search bar I'm fine with this background so I'm selecting it now I'm going to replace this image using the swap icon within the item menu and now I am going to edit the text now I am going to change the color and the size of this text as the final step for this scene I am going to the camera timeline and changing the camera's focus let's have a preview of this scene Like this, I'm going to repeat the same process and create few more scenes and then we'll continue with the tutorial. I have completed the creation of all the scenes. I think it would be better if we add transition between each of these scenes. To add transition, you go to the icon between each of these scenes, click on it, you will have options to add a lot of different transition between your scenes. I am going to select fade in as the transition. I completed adding transition between all the scenes. Now as the final step, I want to add a music track to this video. To add a music track, select the first scene and then go to the music section in the left hand side. Within music section, you have access to lot of different royalty free music tracks. All you have to do is simply hover the pointer over these music tracks and you would be able to hear the actual sound of the music track. Once you are done selecting your music track, all you have to do is just click on this plus icon over here. Once you click on it, it will apply the music track into your videos. If you click on the music track in the timeline, you'll have few more options popping up. You can have a preview, you can increase or decrease the volume of the music track, you can have a duplicate of the music track and you can delete the current music track if you want to add a new music track. So I think the scene is pretty much set now. Let's have a preview of this video with all the scenes together. Once you are done creating a video, click on this publish icon over here. Once you click on it, you will have access to publish your video across lot of different social media platforms. Let's say you want to download the video into your system. To do that, click on this download video icon over here and select download. After a few minutes of rendering of your video, you will be redirected towards a new download page. It's that simple to create a photo video using Animaker. Whether you are creating your photo video from an existing template or you are going to start from scratch, you are pretty sure it's gonna look great. So what are you waiting for? Go to Animaker's website and start creating your awesome looking photo video.